Good morning, Aubrey. Welcome to a part three of our small talk series. Yes, this one's going to be really fun. You guys, if you missed the first two, check them out. We talked about using very common topics to, to, to start small talk, talking about entertainment, what someone's watching, talking about what they do in their free time. These are great subjects. And we're going to give you the third easiest, most popular today, which is to talk about a local hotspot. Yeah. So all of these conversations and vocabulary, guys, this is all stuff that you can use uh, to network, to talk to new clients, to develop relationships with coworkers. Um, and these are also conversations you can have in daily life. If you want to make new friends or meet other students, this is all stuff that you could use in any situation, both formal and informal. Um, guys, if you love today's episode. If you have seen the other episodes as well, don't forget to hit like and subscribe right now. Subscribe to All Ears English, guys, because we are loving making these series for you. This series, this small talk series, in fact, is based on a poll we did of All Ears English subscribers, guys. So be a subscriber and you could tell us what you want in the next series. So hit subscribe and like right now, guys. Um, all right. So we're talking today about local hotspots. Now, I envision this more than the other two topics. In fact, I feel like today's topic is even better for networking, for developing relationships with new um, people in your professional world. Yes, for sure. Right. Because you think about it, it's a, it's a win-win. Not only are you having this interesting conversation and getting to know someone and what types of places they might get to go to, mm -hmm. you're also giving them recommendations and yeah. you're getting recommendations for them. So it's going to feel like a very fruitful conversation for both of you. Yeah, totally. Um, now, what do we mean by hotspots? Like, what, what does that even mean? Local hotspots. Yeah, it means popular, a popular place that is fun to go to. It could be a restaurant, a cafe, a coffee shop. It could be a new art exhibit or a theater, right? It's just someplace that's pretty popular. Maybe lots of people know about it, but your friend might not yet. And you want to share it with them. Yeah, exactly. So um, like Aubrey said, restaurants, it could be nightlife places like clubs or bars, um, entertainment, cinemas, theaters, museums. It could even be outdoor places like parks yeah. and monuments, like mm -hmm. anywhere in your city that people like to go. Um, so Aubrey, here's the next question before we get to that role play. When do you talk about local hotspots? I would talk about it with anyone, honestly, yeah. like friends that I've had for a long time. Totally. If a new place opens up or even just one that has been there a while, but I'm not sure they've been yeah. strangers. If I strike up a conversation like I did yesterday at the orthodontist while I was waiting for <laughs> my daughter, I, I would ask them, you know, are, what are the best places to eat around here? Yeah. Totally. It's a, it's an easy conversation to have with anyone. Um, if you guys have listened to Aubrey and I talk on the IELTS energy podcast, you might already know us a little bit. Aubrey and I love talking to strangers. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we just love talking to people. Um, I talk to people when I'm in line, you know, so like, this is something, you know, if you're at line, if you're in line outside, uh, you know, a museum or a restaurant or something, you just talk to the person in front of you. You could be like, have you, have you been to this place before? Like, is it worth waiting in line? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Do you know any other restaurants around here that don't have lines? Maybe I could go there. So again, guys, like this is such an amazing topic to connect with anyone about. So before we get to this role play, guys, I want to remind you that we have a free English quiz for you. AllEarsEnglish.com slash fluency score. Get your English fluency score and free materials we made based on that score. Are you at 50%, 65%, 80%. Where are you? Get materials based on that score, guys. It's a short quiz and it's very effective. Go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score. And remember, guys, hit like and subscribe right now. So vocabulary before we get to the role play, we have three terms that are awesome for you guys to use in these conversations. The first phrase is swing by. This is a phrasal verb. It's an informal phrasal, phrasal verb. I would say it's a little slangy as well. Yeah. Um, and it just means go to. 
usually for a short time, you know, yeah, like, exactly. Right. I'm going to swing by happy hour, even though I only have a few minutes. Yeah. It definitely kind of means you're going to pop in, make an appearance, hang out for a little bit. You're probably yeah. not going to stay for hours. Yeah. So if a coworker is like, Oh, Hey, are you going to this event tonight? Are you going to happy hour tonight? Blah, blah, blah. You could be like, I mean, I, I'm going to swing by for sure, but I might not get to stay too long. Right. So awesome phrase for you guys. Um, the next one, very informal, grab a bite. It just means eat, right? Like I'm going to grab a bite at that salad place. Yes, exactly. Right. Or if you ask someone, Hey, want to come grab a bite with me? Totally. This is such a great way to ask it because it's a very casual, very informal, like we're just going to go grab a bite. This is not a date. I'm not expecting to have a serious conversation with you. I know. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> would you like to go to dinner with me? Ooh, there's a little more nuance there. That's a little would more you serious. like to accompany me to a <laughs> lunch place? Guys, remember, we're not about textbook English. We are very honest with you about what natives really say to each other. Like Aubrey said, like using language like this, this natural native informal language, it's a great way to take the pressure off a relationship yes. and establish a trustworthy vibe. So if a customer, like you don't want the client to think you only care about their business, right? So you could be like, hey, you know what? Do you want to take a break and just go grab a bite? And then it's like, okay, we don't have to talk about work for a little bit. Now we could talk about the other small talk topics like TV yes. and, and free time. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. The last is an idiom guys to catch sight of, and that just means to see for a short time or glimpse. So you will hear all of these phrases in the role play. So Aubrey, what is this role play we're going to be doing? So I'm visiting Portland for a conference. And I meet Jessica. Jessica's also attending the conference, but actually lives in Portland. This will be a good not one. too far from reality, you know. It's <gasps> they say kind of role play, so we don't get uh, <laughs> too <laughs> off track. <laughs> right about what you know. That's the golden rule. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, that was a short session. I thought it was supposed to be like two hours. I know, right? Hey, are you from here by chance? I'm starving, but I have no idea where to go. Yes, I do live here. What are you in the mood for? Hmm. There are actually tons of great spots around here to eat at. Oh, I don't know. Just a sandwich, I guess. Well, that's easy. Bunks Sandwiches is just up on 11th. I work near here too. And I often grab a bite there when I need something quick. Perfect. Oh, and since you're kind of on vacation, you should definitely swing by 50 Licks, a local ice cream place. It's near here too. You know what? I think I might actually do that. Would you want to come with me? Yes, I would love that. Let's do it. We might even catch sight of the Unipiper. The what? <laughs> a local street performer that rides a unicycle and plays bagpipes. What? That's wild. <laughs> I please tell me that's real. That's real. I love that so much. <laughs> you can look him up on Wikipedia, oh the Portland gosh. Unipiper. It's hard enough to ride a unicycle without playing the bagpipes. We got a unicycle. It. I'm going to kill myself every time I try to get on it. It is dangerous. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> You guys, Portland is a wild place. Um, so anyway, I love this role play for you guys to practice and gain confidence through because this is such a great example of how you could take a couple risks and really make a new connection. And, you know, like maybe well, I'm just making a good friend or maybe Aubrey is somebody that I could develop um, a work partnership with in the future, right? Um, but at the very least I get to have lunch with a cool person, like, yes. you know, and you're not taking, you know, when you just say, would you like to come with me? Maybe may want to come with me. Yeah. You know, who cares if they end up saying, oh, I can't no big deal. Right. No big deal. Yeah. You shot your shot. <laughs> it was worth it to put yourself out there. Like you totally. said, you might make this a great connection, might make a friend or a really good business connection. It's yeah. worth it. Just asking. You never know. They might be free. They might love to join you. Totally. And practice some English, right? Yes. Like just go for it, guys. You got to take risks if you're going to improve. Um, so comment on this video, guys, if you have a suggestion for another series you'd like. If you did not watch parts one and two of the Small Talk series, go back and watch those. Remember to hit like and subscribe on this video right now. Um, and then guys, go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score for a free English quiz and materials. All right. 
Aubrey, this has been the funnest series. It was a really fun series. It makes me want to just go introduce myself to a stranger and ask them about all of these things. What are they watching on TV? What are they doing in their free time? And where's a cool place to eat around here? <laughs> those are all the things. That's all you those need. are all the things we need to talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, Aubrey. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you uh, next time. Yep. See you in the next series. Bye-bye. Bye.